was a damn good one. Look at the tracks Jenny discovered. Rocky Mountain Sasquatch. We are investigating one of our favorite Bigfoot wintering grounds on the southeast tip of the Uena Mountains of Utah. A guy sent us two game cam photos recently from this area where he captured something this last winter. This is our discussion of the images. Steve writes RMSO. Hello. First off, just want to say I really enjoy watching all of your videos and following your investigations. I have a picture from a trail camera I'd like you to look at. I have no idea what I captured. My trail camera is motion activated and I have it set up in an area I elk hunt at 9300 feet elevation and a 1.2 mile hike in and not near any trail. So I honestly do not think it's a person messing with me. Plus, it was in February and still a lot of snow. My cam is wireless, so I get notifications as soon as it captures movement. I received a notification, so I looked at my app and there was nothing in the picture. I figured a bird or something flew by. Then, I get another notification and there is something standing about 100 feet from my camera. I'm not sure what it is, but I've heard wood knocking up there before. This is in the Uenas. The first picture I got the notification, nothing there. Notice the time on both pictures. Second picture, might have to zoom in a little, but it's to the right of the picture. RMSO responds, it is humanoid shape. Anything else you know about this? Steve continues, I don't know anything else. It just showed up on my cam and nothing else. Another thing I find weird is my camera didn't catch it entering or leaving. I have pics of deer and elk walking through this area. The camera will normally take pictures as long as there is movement. It's bugged me ever since on what it could be. I normally hunt by myself and I've heard some weird noises up there. Enough to where I've left the area for a couple of days. RMSO responds, We own over 20 game cameras and even some of the fastest trigger speeds, we can trigger the camera and walk out of frame before it takes a photo or starts the video. It may have walked back to the right after this photo and is why it's not captured on camera again. Any estimate on the height? Steve responds, yes, I actually stood in the approximate area and had the cam snap a picture. I wish I still had that picture, but I would say my head was about to its shoulder and I'm six foot tall. I appreciate you looking at this. I've stared at it for nearly a year and wonder what it is. I know we will never know, just wanted to get another set of eyes on it. RMSO states, sounds a good foot or more taller than you. How much thicker and wider is it than you? Steve continues, it was definitely thicker and wider, but not a whole lot. I'm 220 pounds. This is in Utah, Ashley National Forest on the Red Cloud Loop. RMSO responds, we have investigated several wintertime Bigfoot sightings right there. Seems the Bigfoot like to stay or travel in dry fork and red cloud during the winter. One of the sightings, a truck driver nearly hit a nine-foot-tall Bigfoot where Red Cloud comes out on the highway when you're heading to Flaming Gorge. He knew it was nine feet tall or better because its head and face was level with him in his cab of his truck when he nearly hit it. Steve responds, OMG, where the truck driver almost hit one is where I turn in to go hunting. The camera was about seven miles in near that snow-covered dirt road. RMSO responds, this definitely isn't the nine-footer that people keep on spotting in the area. This one looks to be, according to your size estimate to you, over seven feet tall. Of course, there isn't just one Bigfoot. There's got to be a breeding population. I hope you guys enjoyed a look at a Bigfoot sighting hotspot and this crazy capture on a game camera in a Bigfoot sighting hotspot. Keep on watching. We're going to keep on squatching.